pie. We're gonna talk about Amanitima scary mushrooms. Lately I've developed an interest in these mushrooms. Uh, I've had an interest in psilocybin mushrooms before this. I've had a period of experimentation with the psilocybin mushrooms which lasted for about two years and I feel like I have completely understood and can really encapsulate you know the nature of the psilocybin experience and you could say I've mapped I've, I've mapped out the territory so I've kind of I, kind of, I lost the intellectual interest in the substance but now my attention has fallen upon a new candidate for exploration and it is a fly garrick amanita muscaria the legendary red mushrooms from the t fairy tales based on which santa claus was developed but that's another story or perhaps another video so what I find interesting is Amanita mushrooms. First of all, it belongs to a different category from psilocybin mushrooms, which are hallucinogens, bound or dissolving hallucinogens, antheogens. The Amanita muscaria is primarily dissociative. It is still considered an antheogen, considering its traditional use in many shamanic cultures and it is still in use in uh, many Siberian regions by Siberian shamans but overall it seems to be a very complex a very multi-dimensional substance or a mushroom it contains many substances a combination of psychoactive substances a combination a complex combination, especially from the ecosystem which has been evolving for millions of years, they're always more interesting to experiment with, you know, as opposed to isolated synthetic compounds such as, you know, LSD. They are more interesting because they contain a combination of substances which interact with each other in unpredictable ways to produce complex experiences so they interact with the system of the body in highly complex non-linear ways in which a single substance cannot really interact therefore explaining their effects through simple linear models often doesn't work and it's much more convenient to conceptualize them as having spirits and having personalities because of the complexity of the experience they're as complex as a human being as a personality and that's why they're conceptualized in these terms and i would really like to know the personality of the amanita mushroom it seems to be a very powerful a very intense substance it also has some other potential for example, for microdosing, because, for example, the sleep aid Ambien, a very powerful pharmaceutical, is actually a synthetic version of muscomol, which is the primary psychoactive compound in the Amanita mushroom. So it has some potential for sleep aid, which I would really also like to look into. Right now, it's pretty much... Uh, the peak of the season uh, of the Amanita muscaria mushrooms, so I'm going to um, try to find some. I'd like to find my own, you know, because of sentimental reasons, I guess. But yeah, I'd like to find my own mushrooms, dry them up, you know, prepare them appropriately, and I will report back when the experiments begin. And I will report back on my findings. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, take it easy, but take it.